Hi guys, it's Tayor. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Resurrection Remix OS for the OnePlus X. This is the second part of ROMs for the OnePlus X. The Resurrection Remix is, of course, a custom ROM. So if you have missed out the first part, uh, the i button just popped up. So you can go and check the video out. In the first part, I had flashed the Lineage OS and it was really nice. So this video will be basically about the Resurrection Remix OS. So if you've watched my previous video or the first video of ROMs, then you might be knowing what all things I do in these kind of videos. So basically what I do is that just flash the ROM, then talk about the ROM, give you some idea about, give you a brief idea about the ROM uh, and then just a speed test at the end. So the speed test that will be done here will be compared to the one done in the first part. So just an overall comparison between the, these two ROMs. So the links to the zip files and every other thing that I use in the video are in the description box down below. So if you are actually going to um, get your OnePlus X, the Resurrection Remix OS, then you can actually do that. Uh, and also let me tell you one thing, in the last video I uh, told you about some problems that uh, Lineage gave to my phone like the alert slider not working. Uh, but let me tell you the very same day I got an update from Lineage and the alert slider error was fixed. So that's a great thing. So don't be scared about uh, flashing the custom ROM to your phone. I got one comment like that. I don't recollect your name but yeah the problem is fixed. Also we have a given coming up so make sure you stick till the end and let's get started. So now let's get the Resurrection Remix flashed into the OnePlus X. So this cute thing will help us again. Now switch off and boot into recovery mode. How that's done? Just press the volume down and power button at the same time. And leave once the OnePlus logo is seen. Go to wipe, then swipe to factory reset. Then go to install and navigate for the Resurrection Remix zip file. Once you get it, just swipe to flash. Do the same thing with the gaps as well. Both the links to download these zip files are in the description box down below. For gaps, we'll go with micro. Just see the number of pre-installed apps we get with this. Ok so it's done. Let's reboot to system. Well the boot animation of Resurrection Remix is way better than Lineage. Like literally I'm in love with this animation. Finally we are in, let's just complete the initial steps and let's see what all stuff we get inside the Resurrection Remix. So, so as I have installed Micro, I get the Google Now Launcher and Resurrection gives me its Trubushit and the Pixel Launcher. You can't remove any of these so that means we are going to get a bit less storage in the phone. I'll go with the Pixel Launcher anyways. You can see we got more pre-installed apps as we have flashed micro. The UI is similar to Lineage but not the same. Some minor changes like the uh, Lineage had turquoise accent but here we have a dark blue accent. It looks really nice. Camera quality is same as Lineage that means the uh, shutter lag is seen and the unresponsive camera is being seen here as well. Let's go to settings and check the software. Of course we know that we are on Resurrection Remix OS and it is based on Android 7.1.1 which is same as Lineage. The storage we get in here is somewhat equal to what we get in Lineage. All the no good features are available and work really well. 
But now we got this option called as configuration, which was not present in Lineage. This option gives us access to hell lot of customization options, and they are meant to be discovered, tried, and tested all by yourself. But then I'll give you a small tour around it. So one of the things that I found unique is that we can change the custom LCD pixel. That means we can give our very own um, pixel density. I don't know if that is of any help, but it's really unique and interesting. Then we can select the screenshot type. Take a screenshot and select the area of the screen you want to capture. We can customize the clock, date, format, font, and other stuff like that. We can also show seconds in the clock. We can do this in the lineage as well. We can enable brand logo here. Um, like just the Resurrection Remix logo comes on your status bar. We can also put some custom logos. Like here I have put the spider logo. Uh, useless but looks cool. We can also enable the network traffic. Like the incoming and outgoing network traffic. For those who want it. I don't really find it useful but then for some people it is. We have a few status bar gestures like adjusting the brightness and locking the screen by double tapping the status bar. We had this in Lineage. The one more thing which I found common in both these ROMs is that we have the quick pull down gesture. The one I showed you in Lineage, you remember? If you don't, just go and watch that video. Logit features work flawlessly. One more thing I like is that when we enable the on-screen navigation bars, we get pixel looking nav bars. And both on-screen and the touch capacitive buttons work. Well, this is weird. So now I'll leave the customization options to you guys and I'll move on to the speed test. So let's begin with the speed test. The apps that we used in the first part are used here as well. So let's go to clock and start the stopwatch. First up we have Gmail. Then we have Facebook. Then Gallery. Then YouTube. Then Snapchat. Instagram. Settings. Coming to the Google app, then contacts, then the temple run game. This would take some time. Then we have calculator, phone. Messaging, Chrome, and finally the camera. Let's click a picture. So let's lap the time and just do the cycle again. So you can see that most of the apps were running in the background. This means that the memory management is really beautiful in this one as well but the thing is that this took 1 minute 26 seconds which was approximately 20 seconds faster than the one we had in Lineage OS which is pretty much impressive so yes that's up with the speed test so you can clearly see that the Resurrection Remix OS is 20 seconds faster than Lineage OS if those 20 seconds really matter to you then you can actually go with the Resurrection Remix. If they don't, then Lineage. If you like the customizable options in Resurrection, then go with Resurrection. But personally, if you ask me which one I would go with, then it is the Lineage. Reason being that Lineage, according to me, is very stable as compared to the Resurrection Remix. Uh, and also Lineage has given me way more updates than Resurrection. Resurrection did not give me updates and also I did not care to check 
the updates because I did not like the Resurrection remix. But if you ask me, then that's for sure. And for gaps, I'll go with Nano. For sure, I'll go with Nano. Um, if you have watched my previous video perfectly, then you might be knowing why Nano. But then, still I'll tell you, OnePlus X doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, so the face unlock feature um, is given in Nano. So that really helps. If it would have been in Pico, then of course I would have gone with Pico. So, also there's no difference between both these ROMs, a very minute difference, just accents and the customization part. So, actually you can check both of these, whichever you like, it's on you. So now giveaway time, we are going to give away two 8000 mAh power banks by Cloudwalker. So if you're interested in the giveaway, just go to the um, link, the first link in the description box down below. Just uh, do whatever is required and there you're in. And yeah, that's what you need to do. Stay subscribed, hit the bell icon and you're gonna get notified. Um, also, you can comment down below anything, like anything that would actually increase your chances of winning the giveaway. So, yes, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you really did, then do show your support by hitting the like button. If you loved it, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries or you have any uh, suggestions for the improvement, then do let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, stay classy. Bye-bye.